Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold Deathlock. Welcome to series 2, the series that we take on Kanto. Now, <clears throat> we're back in our bedroom because we've become the league champion and all of that good business. So hello mom. Professor Elm told me there's something to give you. Thanks for that information, that was really vitally important to me. Cheers. So let's go and have a little wee word with Mr. Elm himself, the professor, the Pokemon professor. Beck, there you are. I called because I have something for you. See, it's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto. Whoop whoop. So we're going to start our Kanto journey by catching a ride from Olivine City. Um, yeah, so we're going to go see Professor Oak in Kanto now. Let's really... Now, you see, the problem is we do have JJ, and JJ, unfortunately, did not survive the encounter with uh, the Elite Four. He was very unfortunately... Where's Olivine? Cyanwood. Here, here, here. Right. He was unfortunately uh, exercised. Ex exorcised. What's it? No. Uh, anyway, he was sent back to the underworld, so we're going to have to drop him off right now back into the pc the the depths of the underworld um if you are new to watching then um i'll just really quickly talk you through the rules of the death lock basically oh look it's chivy chivy is one of those pokemon that's not going anywhere chivy is there so we do have these guys here have all been caught as per nuzlocke rules so first encounter on the route uh, they can be swapped out for one of these Pokemon. These are our Dark and Ghost type Pokemon. So the premise of a Death Lock is that we only use Dark and um, Ghost type Pokemon. So they've all got that as their dual typing somehow, somewhere along the lines. Anyway, so the idea is that we can randomly generate a number and we can grab a sacrifice, drop it off into the dead box and we can bring somebody out of the underworld now if someone faints it means they get sent back into the underworld okay so jj legitimately fainted so needs to go back into the underworld okay so now we have an, uh, an empty slot on our party but we can fill that slot because we have got sacrifices now i know there's not many sacrifices left I, there are one two three four five places in johto that i didn't catch pokemon so um six places i didn't catch one in victory road i don't think either um so we can use those we can go back and catch one but because we're going to kanto i figured that we could catch pokemon there as well i'm sure so anyway we're gonna grab this magic up uh no i'm gonna pop it in there and we are going to randomly generate a number and we are going to grab the pokemon um yeah that equates to that number so let me just grab my phone grab the um, random number generator, which is right here. How many have we got all together? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We have twelve. Okay, so we're going to put that in numbers one to twelve. And we are going to generate a number. Number eight. Okay, so it's number eight, so that's six, seven. Ooh, mischievous. Ah, now this is this was given to me by Albi, the um, dragon dancer. Uh, she lives in Australia. She watches a lot of my videos, but I know that she's had, she's moved house and she's um, her internet's been being wonky and all sorts of stuff. So she's not been around for a while, but she's always in and out. Being Australian means she misses a lot. But anyway, so we've got Albi's mischievous, which is very interesting because it is purely ghost type. Um, Okay, well, anyway, the Mischievous is only level 5, so we are going to need to level that up at some point. Um, yes, and if I'm not sure, I think I'm... I don't know whether I have all the potential black, dark, and ghost-type Pokemon. Oh, it's holding something. Is it... Oh, is it holding its... Um, its... Um, oh, evolu evolutionary item? No, it's... Yes, it's holding a Dusk Stone. Does that help it to evolve? That might help it to evolve. Uh, you might go and need to go ahead and tell me about how to, about what I should do about evolving this guy. Anyway, we're gonna take the, we'll take the dust stone. 
let's have a look at your moveset. Psywave, Shadow Sneaks, Shadow Ball, and Sucker Punch. So actually, kind of a kind of a similar replacement to Gengar. Just don't have the poison typing. But we've got Levitate, we've got a psychic type move, the ghost moves, and that dark type move. So that's kind of cool. Um, do we have an XP shit? Oh, we've glitched again. Oh, we've glitched. We don't have an XP shit. Oh, what? Right. We did glitch, but now we're, we're, we're fixed. So I'm, I'm just going to real quickly save it just in case it goes bonkers again. Okay, right. So anyway, that, that worried me slightly there. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we will switch train Albi. It's named after her as well, which is so cool. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to switch train Albi, but we're going to catch the... Whatever it's called. Where do we catch it from? Here. Over here somewhere, I think. Let's catch the SS and thing and go to Kanto! Hey, Oki. Hello! You're starting to have the attitude of a champion, Beck. It's time for your Pokedex to match who you are. Let me see your Pokedex for a second. I will upgrade your Pokedex with the National Mode. Yay! It won't be easy to complete the National Pokedex. However, I'm sure you will make an honest attempt on your beha our behalf. Oh, time flies. I have golden... I have a still... Yep. Cool beans. Let's catch the ship. Welcome to the fast ship SS Aqua. May I see your tickets? It's... Uh, uh, get on board, quick! Okay, I'm getting on board. I'm getting on. Let's go. Let me on, mister. Huh. How does he think? Why? Why are we the last? Man, we're just in time. Check that Check that out, look. Meow. So do we fight while we're on here? Is that a thing? Can we have battles? Oh, we have an old man. Whoa, excuse me. I was in a hurry. My granddaughter is missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. Okay. Okay, okay, so we, we're gonna do the, the um, ship stuff. Here's your cabin. If you need a, okay, fine, good. So we'll check out all the rooms and stuff. You know what, I haven't played this section of the game literally probably since. Um, oh, probably since back in the day, man. Uh, I did do Storm Silver on as my first Let's Play, but we never did Kanto because by the time I got to the, the Elite Four, um, oh my goodness, you're level 40. Besides, by the time we got to, to the Elite Four, um, I'd kind of like, I, I grew a lot as a Pokestuber and all of that stuff. So I kind of, I felt like I wanted to move on to a new project a little bit. Um, Albie's going to hopefully grow quite quickly here with this Switch trading business. Um, yeah, uh, we're not going to learn Astonish. Yeah, so I never did. I never actually did do the Kanto section, so this is going to be interesting for me to actually be able to kind of maybe have a go at uh, at it. But it just means that I can't quite remember what we are going to be doing, which I'm sure is fine. Anyway, you've got level 39 Teddy Ursa and Fampy, which is kind of weird. Anyway, let's fight. Let's fight. We Let fight you. Shadow Ball Fumpy. Oh, you endure, I see you, Fumpy. <laughs> Dang it. And a faint attack. Doesn't really affect me too much. Let's um, knock off the Teddy Ursa and Body Slam the Fumpy. I'm just going to keep using endure. I see you, Fumpy. I see you. Uh, Teddy Ursa faints. <laughs> Albie gets all the levels. <laughs> oh, just the one level now. Okay. Um, so let's crab hammer and body slam we may as well. There we go. Cool. Okay, so hopefully, well, I mean, it will take a bit of time for Albie to level up and um, I'll do it probably off after this episode because this is the Thursday episode. So then I, I get a little bit of time to uh, grind up and stuff in between episodes, in between the Thursday and Tuesday. My granddaughter is still missing. Well, she can't have gone far, surely, unless she's fallen overboard. Um, the emulator seems to be doing a bit, being a bit weird at the moment. It keeps getting a bit, it keeps getting lines across it, which is a bit odd. Can you see it? Oh, Can you see it? I pressed the speed up button then by accident. Oh, this guy's been sick. Oh, but he's 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 well enough to battle apparently. No, no, just no. 
just know. And you're not fairy type at the moment either. Let's just kill it. Let's kill it with fire. Well, you can encore my Dark Pulse. That's absolutely fine. You will die speedily to my Dark Pulse. Well done, Baraki. Um, I'm a choke. Oh no, that was an accident. Because, yes, he can hurt me, but actually not that bad. Um, not that bad. Uh, Magma. Let's bring in Zoidberg. See, this is, you see, this is, what I'm this is what I'm talking about again, right? We clearly had one or two problems against Lance, who was level 60 odd. But now look at the training, we're back down to 37 again. Oh, you burnt me. Fritz, really? Why? Um, what have we got? We've got burn heal, burn heal. Let's, let's heal up Zoidberg there a little bit. Um, just that I'd have to keep running back to the bed to heal. We can't use these beds, can we? No, we just, just walk through those. Um, okay, so... Nothing there. We've got to find this guy's granddaughter. Where's she at? Where's she at? Is she over here? There's this guy. He's like, hey kid, can I get you to look for my buddy? He's taking it easy somewhere, that good for nothing. So we got to find someone chilling. I mean, is it him? Nothing beats a battle when I'm on my break. So, I mean, it must be him. Could you, could you, you could have, like, literally walked ten steps forward and put your head around the door and said, um, mate, what are you doing? Yeah, you could have done that. Oh, I see you sending out the rat cake. Well, that's interesting. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna go for the fly. Oh, I see you. You know crunch. Nuts. That's not good. Um... Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's... Yeah. That's not going to do anything to me. Dark punch your face. You evil rat. You doidy rat. Makahita. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted the old Drifloom for. Except Shadow, he took so much damage there. Um... You doidy rat. That's not good, though, because... <laughs> I could just bop all of my dark type Pokemon. So, yeah. Wonderful. How, how much is this going to hurt? Uh, not so bad. Not so bad. I want some leftovers to give to Baraki, to be honest. Because, you know, to make the most of the fact that we've got... Um, <laughs> make the most of the fact that we've got the toxic protect thing going on. Um, right, let's just heal up. Mum, can you not tell I'm busy? How do we get reception out here on the sea anyway? How does that happen? Match restores. I need to sell, sell those match revives. Because they're no good. It's their snow goose. Um, right, let's heal these dudes up. This guy, you should get, get what? I found him. Is that your mate there, man? Dude? He's taking it easy somewhere. Okay, fine. Well, there's nobody else here that we can talk to, so we must have we must have missed a trick somewhere. Let's go and see what else we can see. So that's... Well, I'm confused. Where do we go? I'm legitimately really confused right now because all we can do is go down. Here. Right? What am I missing? Right? Where's my mate? Is it your mate, the one being sick? No more ships for me. Next time I'm taking the magnet train. Okay, okay, okay. okay. What? What? <laughs> Well, I can't find the little girl or this man's friend. Hey, kids, you get the uh, 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 I want you to go find him. Can't win if I. Oh, well, actually, I must have missed. I must have not been in all the places. I must have not been in all the places and done all the things. I thought I had. Are you just doofing around? No. Right, I thought I've talked to you guys. Okay. 
And he he's looking for his granddaughter. Lol. Are they in my cabin? There's somebody in my cabin. Maybe. We can't go that way though. That guy is going to tell me that we've not arrived yet. Here's your cabin. Thanks. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, can we go down? Are these rooms as well? These are rooms as well. Got you. On it. There's my room with my PC and all of that good business. Oh. Oh. Ha, <laughs> ha, That's funny. Okay, that's cool. So let's check out those other rooms then real quick. Right. Okay. Here, this dude, wake up. Get up, you lazy bum. <laughs> what you saying I was asleep I would never be as unmindful to take a nap in a place like this back off it's Stanley 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 see you Stanley sleeping on the job oh side up that's okay that I guess that's okay water pulse that's fine we can we can deal with that. We can deal with that. We can we can fly on them chop as well. Do that. Do that. Do all the things, Shadowy. Do all the things. Well done. Nice. But good diff drift limb. Good diff drift limb. Do the same. Fly. Flying bot. Flying bot. Flying bot. Yes. Oh, the shadowy sweep. Shadowy came from my friend Big Friv as well, who is a really awesome guy. He's working on his own Pokemon game at the moment. Please don't tell the captain. Please. Please. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch a bit of TV. Play on the Wii. That's clearly a Wii right there, look. <gasps> Wii confirmed! Look at that Wii right there. That is Defo Wii, isn't it? So, did the, do you know, this is a pretty good chip, isn't it? With rooms with Wiis. Um, this guy is another fighter, another battler. Are you alone? It's battle. He has a. Ooh, he's a Bronzor. That's nice. I've not seen one of them for a while. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna go for safeguard, which is fine, but I'm just gonna go for the frame thrower. Which, ooh, I wonder if you've got heat proof as your ability. Um, I quite like Bronzong actually. Bronzong is quite a, quite a nice wall, and you can like give it heat proof and like um, an air balloon. You could, I suppose, to counteract to both of its weaknesses. But it is quite cool that you can you can have a levitating one um, because. Do we want to learn that? I think we do. Um, yeah, so you can have a levitating one, and that takes away that weakness that you, that um, it naturally has to um, ground type moves like earthquake. Um, yeah, because actually, well, well, this is something that I've noticed from watching a lot of battles, and also battling a little bit myself. Although currently I can't battle Wi-Fi battle too much because. I get too stressed about it, which I know people will think sounds ridiculous, but I've got, I just, I, ah, I have, um, I have had problems with anxiety, okay, and this ridiculous as it sounds, when I'm really stressed, I have to really actively manage, like, how anxious I feel about things, and, um, Pokemon battling, this is going to seem absolutely ridiculous, I put so too much pressure on myself to be seen to I don't care if I win or lose particularly but I I kept I think I put too much pressure on myself because I think about what other people might think um if that makes any sense it should make some sense I guess okay so there was nobody well there was that oh there was that guy who was supposed to be doing his job so we can go and tell that other guy and hopefully he'll let us through but yeah so from doing a little bit of battling and stuff <laughs> I yelled at him so good he'll quit slacking off um yeah, so, like, watching battles and doing a bit of competitive myself, Earthquake is a thing that is, like, pretty prevalent. Everybody packs, like, ground-type moves on their Pokemon. So having a Bronze on that knows um, Levitate is actually pretty useful. Um. Aqua Ring! Energy ball in your face! Groot has got so much coverage, it's unreal. Uh, I wish I could do more competitive battling, but I just, I, why are you hanging out in the engine room as well, by the way? <sighs> just, I just, it stresses me out too much, because I think that people think I should, like, just be the most amazing battler ever, and I'm not. I'm okay, I have the potential to be good, but I, I just get too stressed out about it, and get the blinkers on, and 
start to panic and it's not cool beans. This little girl keeps asking me to play with her. Ouch! Please don't stretch my ear. You, your granddad's looking for you, mate. Play with me, play with me, I'm bored and I want to play more. Play with me. Oh, you going to play with me? Let's play hide and seek. I'll go, oh, what? Where are you, little girl? Where is she? Under the table. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, don't got time for this, you little girl. You under the bed. Where is she? Pokemon magazines. Are you serious? Is she in here or has she gone somewhere else? I, I legitimately, she can't. She's not in here still, is she? Where is she gone? Oh, dang it. Stupid girl. Come back. Where are you? She's disappeared. Hopefully she's just like pl hiding in plain sight and not somewhere absolutely a ridiculous mouse. No. In here? Oh girl, where are you? I don't want to play hide and seek. I just want you to go back to your granddad. Siri oh, there she is. You're not funny. You're not big and you're not clever. Oh, you found me. I better go back to my grandpa. Yeah, you get back to your grandpa. You get back to your grandpa right now. Grandpa, here I am. I was playing hide and seek with this girl. Beck, was it? I heard you entertain my granddaughter. I want you to thank you for that. Here, yeah, have this metal coat. Thanks. I really need that. And we've arrived at Vermilion City. Yay! Brilliant. That is exactly what we need to have happen. Hi! Fast ship has arrived in Vermilion City. Great. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Beck has arrived in Kanto. Everybody, throw out the balloons. Where's my welcoming party? The champion of Johto is here. Really? No balloons? Where's my welcoming committee? Don't you know who I am? Ah, it's Suicune! Suicune's here to say hi. Oh, and you've seen, of course. That was so close, I thought I could corner it by ambushing it here. But running on the water is beyond me. Still, I'm starting to see a pattern. Suicune prefers water, that means. Sorry, Beck, I've got to go. I mean, where? Is, where's the fanfare and the welcoming party? Don't you guys know who I am? Champion of Johto right here, everyone. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm the champion of Johto, don't you know? No? Fine. Okay, so guys, we've made it to Kanto, so I'm going to end the episode here. And in the next episode, we will continue to our quest for the Kanto gym badges, as you can see on the layout. It is now the Kanto badges that we are after. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please pop that like button. Drop me a comment below. Tell me how, I think, how you think things are going so far. Um, if you've got any suggestions for the Kanto section. Um, if you have got any extra... If you want to send me a Dark or Ghost type Pokemon that I don't have so far then uh, feel free to drop a comment below or hit me up on Twitter and I can tell you how to do that. Or you can watch the submission video, which uh, was at the beginning of the, this series. Yeah, so guys, hopefully I'll see you back in Kanto for the next episode of the Deathlock really soon. See you later, guys.